I have a beagle board here and I'm going through the steps to set up a cross compilation environment. So I want to set up a toolchain with an IDE and a compiler linker uh, that can build Linux code for the uh, BeagleBone on Windows. I'm going to use ARM's DS5 IDE, the community version, and as toolchain I'm going to use GNU's port of the Linux ARM compiler. The first thing we'll do is download the Linaro cross-compile toolchain for Windows. You may want to check the version of GCC that is most compatible with the one installed on your BeagleBoard. I'm going to download the latest version. Once you downloaded the file, you can extract the contents. I'm using 7-zip. And that gives you an archive with the toolchain. And just a warning, if you just extract this archive, you will not get a good installation of GCC. Because this archive contains symbolic links. And just extracting it, or just using WinZip to extract it, will fail. Uh, you will get warnings that WinZip is not able to reproduce those uh, symbolic links and it will create invalid files. What you need to do is run 7-zip as a administrator and then you can get a good extract. So I'm now going to do that. When you find it in the menu, you right click on it and say execute as administrator. Then you navigate to the archive and you open it. You select extract and find a good location to extract it. I'm going to extract it on my documents in a Linaro uh, folder that I have created. This will extract all the files and it will also create the necessary uh, symbolic links that you need to have a successful install. Voila, that's done. That's phase one. We can now go and install the IDE. You can download the IDE from ARM's developer website. When you click the download button, ARM will ask for your credentials. You have to give your email and you will receive an email with the link to the download. So once you have completed this, submitted it and checked your mails, you click that link and you get a zip file with the studio installation. Unpack the zip file. I have prepared the DS folder to contain it. We go to the extracted files and we run the installation. Done. And now it's time to start the editor. Hey, and let's get started immediately. Let's have a look at the tool change that are installed. And that will be a disappointment. By default, you will find no tool change. But let's add the one we've just installed. Uh, I have installed that in my documents. Electronics. Arm. Linaro. And this is the one that we have just installed. We click next and the tool chain is recognized and OK. So that's the first thing. We now have to restart our uh, Eclipse platform. Hey, and we are now fully ready. I can create a new project, compile it and move it to the Beagle board and you'll see that it works. So let's do that. File new CC. C++ project. I'm going to call it BeagleBoard Linux GNU Hello. We select the Hello World C++ project and the tool chain that we've just installed. Our source will be installed in a subfolder called source. That's about it. So we have a project now with our source that is going to say Hello World. I'm building it and that has worked in less than one second. So at this moment I have a source file, I have a compiled project and we have a binary. I'm now going to use WinSCP to move that binary to my Beagle board. We connect via Ethernet over USB. I'm going to go to my DS workspace and find the project that I've just created, which was BB Linux GNU Hello. I'm going to the debug folder for the binary. Here it is. And I'm going to move it over. Uh, I have selected standard here, but if you want to be sure or if you are paranoid, you can always select binary here and move it over. So the file is now on the Beagle board. 
I can close WinSCP and open a terminal session into the BeagleBoard's Linux system. I'm using Putty for that. I will again use Ethernet over USB and use a secure shell. We have landed in our home folder, the same folder where we've just copied the file into. So if I do a listing, I should find it over here and it's not executable. So let's make the file executable and I do that with a schmod change mode executable our file. If I do a listing now it should appear green and with an executable flag, voila. And we can now run it. So we are now executing our binary file that we have built on Windows. We have copied it to the Linux environment of our BeagleBoard and I'm now executing it. It says hello world, success and that's what I wanted to do. A small summary. We have installed the IDE and the GNU toolchain. We have registered that toolchain in the IDE. We loaded a C++ example program and built it. Then we used WinSCP to move that binary to our uh, BeagleBone. We used PuTTY, we made that binary executable and we executed it. So from a Windows machine source to a Linux binary, that's what we wanted to do today.